What is up guys, NVBC here, bringing you a tutorial today, and what you're going to be learning is how to make professional thumbnails for YouTube using Photoshop. So first off guys, I'll give you a little sample, I just made this tutorial, and I'm going to remake it, just to show you guys how simple it really is. So, I made this for an upcoming video, it's on my download, sorry about that. And it's right here guys, I think this thumbnail is pretty professional looking, looks really nice and it just grabs your eye. That's what I made guys. If you want to learn how to make something like this, stay tuned to the tutorial and we'll jump right into it. So first off guys, I have this this little preset. It doesn't have very many things in it. So I open it, I'll leave them in the description below. You can download both things. And actually I don't want to open that. Those are what's in the folder. I actually have a little preset. I need to go to my desktop and go into this, go into my downloads you might have it somewhere else but this is where I have it preset for thumbnails so that's simple so it has my little grunge background which you'll be getting in the description and I actually forgot one thing so I need to place it so I need to go into my folder where these things are and this is what pretty much adds everything it puts everything together these light rays it just gives that nice effect and so does the grunge so once you get the light rays in you just drag it all the way over and you drag it all the way over to this corner and you just hit that. What I always do, guys, is hit while I'm highlighted to this. I hit, I do this to everything. I hit Control A, and I click this right here. It centers it. Just makes it look good. And what you really need to do is go to Blending Options. And it'll take a few seconds. I'm rendering something. And you need to go to Inner Shadow. It adds that nice. It kind of like blends in and sticks with the material. So that's pretty much all I do when I add my sun rays. It just looks really nice right there if you guys agree I think you guys would agree so next thing is guys I have my Elgato picture already ready to go it's a PNG file make sure when whatever you're downloading and you're getting off Google or if you make it yourself make sure it's a PNG file and to do that you just have to oh, let me resize this real quick and I'll explain to you guys probably make it a little bit bigger about right there. I'm going to use my eraser tool real quick. Get rid of this. I don't need that. And you have that. What you want to do, guys, is go to your Elgato, hit Control A. That groups it, well, it grabs it, and you align horizontal centers. Boom, centers it. You can tell it moved a little bit. That's perfectly centered. So when you do that guys and you make sure your files PNG you want to remove the background this did have a background around the Elgato and everything you just want to use your magic eraser tool and you'd click the background and it would delete everything around it and then once you do that you go to save as and you would name whatever you want and name it a PNG file that's all you have to do guys to make sure it overlays and it doesn't have a background so the next thing is I'm going to change the color. I'm going to get my bucket. And for the color, guys, you want to go kind of dark with this. The reason why, I'll show you here in a minute. I'm going to go with this dark, like, orange-brown color. And if you do a bright orange, it kind of looks messed up. The reason why is it just shoots, It just that looks really bad in my opinion. I like to choose the darker colors when I do this. So let's get our color back. And you'd go down to, like, right here in the dark area, and it fixes it. Boom. That looks pretty good right there. It has the nice cracks through it and everything. Just looks really professional. And the next thing is, I would add my text. I use Bada Boom BB. This is really cool text. And you would just click here, and you would, you would put streaming. Let me change the color real quick. I always change it to white. Streaming tutorial. And I always hit Control A and I would center that. Hit control D once you're done. Forgot to tell you guys that. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Probably about right there. And hit control A again, make sure it didn't move. See it did. Then hit control D. I'm gonna move this up to about right there. And what I'm gonna do next is pretty simple. Hit right click, go to blending options, go to drop shadow I just like the way that it leaves this text it gives this text a nice effect 
Um, you can change the distance down and you'll see that changes a little bit but I'm going to keep it on about 7 and we're going to do a gradient overlay I have plenty of gradients guys you can go on Google and you can type in all these gradients it will have a ton of them and you can just just really nice colors and everything so I'm going to go with this orange today and it looks really good I forgot to do one thing you need to make sure your text is above the grunge so it pops out and just looks at you a little bit more that's what your eye catches so you have that nice streaming text just hit control J and do 1080 HD and all you have to do is drag that down to right there I think that looks pretty solid and hit control once again and next is just put open broadcast software and then I would drag that down oh, I got two A's let me fix that you drag that down and boom hit control A make sure you centered it bring it down a little bit you can completely customize the colors and everything guys how I'm doing it and just to add a little zest because you know someone's going to use twitch.tv Once you have that there guys, I'll go ahead and change the color to a purple because that's what twitch.tv is. Sorry about that, it got interrupted. And sorry about that, my program just finished, hit OK. It's that nice twitch.tv purple. And you want to like change, just turn it sideways, make it a little bit smaller. And hit OK. And drag this behind. Delgado but you drag these up past the grunge so drop that down below it so it's behind it and it kind of like fits in you need to fix this a little bit more and move it down and I think that looks pretty good guys that looks pretty professional kind of catches your eye and boom that's all you have to do guys it's pretty simple self-explanatory hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you're new to the channel you know to like subscribe and comment and definitely smash that share button and the like button till next time guys see you later